What's up you guys? It's your girl Tay and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today and coming back to spend yet again some more time with your girl. If this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button, join the fam. I would love to have you. And you guys, don't forget, I have two giveaways going on. One of them is about a month away from ending, so definitely hit up that description box, check all my details for both of my giveaways because you don't want to miss it. You guys, today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's actually going to be a taste test. My dad went to the um, basically a, a, dr a drink market and got me some beers that I've never tried, all German beers, I'm pretty sure. And we're just going to kind of chit chat it up and I'm going to taste test some beers I've never had before. I am a beer drinker, even in America. I like American beer. Like people in Germany, they're always like American beer. That's not even beer. You haven't had a beer until you've had a German beer, which I definitely agree that German beer is obviously a thousand times better, but sometimes even now I'm like, dang, your girl could go for a good cold Coors Light, but that ain't happening up in here. I'm trying to find my beer opener. I thought I brought it. I must have set it down somewhere. I'll be back, y'all. Okay, you guys, we're back. And I just looked in the mirror as I walked past it. You guys do not mind my hair. It has been so freaking rainy and cold and everything else you can imagine. My hair has been frizzy. And again, anything else you can imagine. Um, I also wanted to say something else. I don't remember. It, I'm sure it'll come to me whenever I'm recording, but I can't think of it. Anyway, we're going to go. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. You guys, my nails, if I could blur them out every time I have to show them in this video, which is going to be a lot because I'm uh, holding a drink, I would, but I can't. So bear with me. They look in insane they finally all came off but i'm sticking to my word i'm letting them breathe and i'm not getting them done until vacation so yeah you guys let's get started this is the first one which is a rodla which is basically i guess you can just say half beer half lemonade it is with lemon juice it is only two percent alcohol which is very, very low. I don't think I've ever had a beer this low percent alcohol since I've been here. Let's try it. I think this is honestly going to be my first, my favorite one. We have a, um, let me fix you guys. We have a, um, a, a, quite a selection over here. There's five of them that I'm going to try. So yeah, let's get started. Prost. It's so weird because it's like, you can taste the lemonade in it and you can taste the beer in it. It's like, it's so light. Definitely only 2% alcohol. It's really good. I can see this more of like a summertime beer. I can't really see this as something I'd pick up in the middle of winter, you know? Mom moment, sorry about that. My daughter was calling me. I literally just told her I'm going to sit down, I'm going to record a quick video, and I will be back in the room to edit. Sorry about that, you guys. I had to cut the camera off and go see what Miss McKenzie wanted. Sorry, y'all. Let's get y'all adjusted. I like this tripod, but I don't like it. Lene, Lene. I like this tripod, but I don't like it. My hair is so freaking frizzy. Anyway, anyway, back on subject. This beer, like I said, I definitely couldn't see myself going to the store and picking this up in the middle of winter. It's definitely a summer beer. Very refreshing. Definitely not a heavy beer taste by any means. It's cool. Can't complain at all. A lot of these beers are going to go to waste because truth be told... My sister and I said we were not drinking until we went on vacation. We were going to do like a whole spiel on not drinking, trying to eat better. And, you know, I just got this amazing video idea and I was like, Psh, I can't let that one go. Me personally, I'm sure there's thousands of video on, uh, videos on YouTube of taste testing um, German beers. But for me, it's a first and I haven't seen it done. So here we are. This one is a Cola Weizen beer. Basically... Kind of like the other one, half and half, half beer, half uh, 
Cola, this one again is only 2.8%. I think this one is a little bit more. I think that other one was like a 2.3. Um, I'm not really a dark soda drinker. Like, well, really, I don't drink soda, period. And it's kind of cute. It has a little pop top. I'm not really a soda drinker, period, let alone dark soda. So, I don't know. Let's try it out. Prost. It tastes just like cola. Like a real, you know, to me, Coca-Cola is like kind of like thick. And you know, super sugary, super sweet. So this one, don't get me wrong, I like a Coca-Cola occasionally, but it's not never a drink that I would like pick up to have, you know, just like random or like at the gas station or anything. I wonder what this means. I wonder if all the cola vites and have different um number things in it. See the little dice? I wonder what that stands for. If all of them are different in every bottle. Anyway. This one is very good. This one is, um, again, something I would drink in the summertime. Not so much in the wintertime. Um, it's very light. It's cool. It's just not, you know, something I'd go and pick myself. Let's do this one. This one is actually alcohol free. Who? I never understood that. What is that? What is that? Just for people who like the taste of beer but don't like to get you know intoxicated or what is that this beer looks huge compared to all the other ones anyway you guys this one again is sorry is alcohol free excuse me sorry and it is a Vites beer so let's try it um it's one of their lighter beers basically so Let's try it. It's alcohol free. I'm pretty sure it's going to... This beer looks ginormous. I wonder how big this is compared to other beers. This thing is huge. It says less calories, you know, all that good stuff. Anyway, prost. I don't know about this. Um. Well, it's alcohol free, but I guess anything less than 0.5% is alcohol free. So this one has less than 0.5%. Zero grams of fat. 2.8 grams of sugar. Zero salt. So yeah, this one is um, definitely my least favorite. And I don't know if it's because it's alcohol free. It has that really weird aftertaste or what it is. Like I said, you guys, I am a beer drinker. I really do enjoy beer. Like, it's not just like, you know, every once in a while I'm like, I want a beer. No, if I like go out to eat, Usually I would order a beer or anything like that, or especially like in the summertime, I love a cold beer. This one is going to be, oh, this one is a, just like the cola one, except this one has um, cherry in it too. My nails are so damaged from the nails. But anyway, yes, this one has cherry in it. And it is also, I think it's just like that one, a cola bites in. And as well with this one, it's a little popped up. I feel like I'm like flying through these. I always say that. I feel like I'm flying through everything. But I really wasn't trying to, you know, make it just drawn out. Just kind of, you know, kind of a cut and dry and to the point kind of person. You feel me? This one, like I said, it's cola, cherry, and... On the back in English, it would say cola cherry lemonade. So that sounds pretty good, actually. This one is, again, pretty low in alcohol. Um, so, yeah, let's try it. This one, to me tastes like a flat cherry coke which is weird because it was it's a beer and you would think it would be extremely like bubbly but to me it kind of tastes like a um flat coke flat cherry coke 
it's probably I would just compare it to a cola vites and I don't really taste too too much of the cherry to for it to say cherry all over it I thought the cherry would be more intense but I guess not that's cool I'm just literally like wasting these <sighs> what a shame okay this one is a I'm not gonna say it wrong it's a doppel doppel buck so yeah that's what this one is called this one is why I saved it for last my dad was like I know you're gonna think it's gross he's like but you know it's something cool to try you never know you might actually like it but I'm more of a lighter beer I like Hefe Bites beer which is to me like the middle it's not Helles and it's not Dunkel so Dunkel or Dunkles comment down below if you know anyway you guys this one like I said is the it's a dark beer it is um Sorry, I had to look at something. It is 7.9% um, alcohol. And that's a lot for a beer. But you know, a lot of what I see too in Germany is um, most of the beers are above 5%. Excuse me, in alcohol. So let's give it a whirl. Prost. <sighs> Definitely. Dang, it kind of smells like liquor. Ooh, I was like, it's, ooh, baby, I don't know about that one. Um, definitely strong. Um, definitely would not buy it if I was out, like, just for myself. I wonder how it looks like poured into something. This is a, I have a cup sitting right here from McKenzie. Let's look, let's see. like regular beer I don't know why I thought it'd be like more of a color of like a Guinness that's another beer you guys I've never had that I've always wanted to try but again I'm not a dark beer person so I don't know if I'd really be into that I don't really know but out of all these beers I would definitely say the Radla was super good the alcohol free one I did not like that aftertaste the and if I had to pick two, it'd be the Kolovitsen was my second. This one, the first, at first it's cool, but that aftertaste, I can't, I can't. German beer to me in general is extremely, extremely um, strong. But that right there, nah, it ain't for me. This one's pretty cool. But yeah, you guys. So yeah, my bad, you guys. Um, like I said, this one's definitely my favorite. I would definitely, you know, get it if I went out to eat or blah, 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 whatever the case may be, or pick up like a six pack at the store. But yeah, you guys, that's really all for this video. I just kind of wanted to share that experience with you guys, me trying to get a couple of German beers that I have not had before. I'm 99% sure all of these are German beers because in that store they had some beers, like some Polish beers and blah, 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 and things from other places around the world. These are just what my dad grabbed for me. I've been in that store before, but this time he went in and got them because I literally had no idea what to get. I would literally would have just got like five different Hellas beers or something crazy like that. Um, next time though, I should definitely take you guys with me if we do this again. Comment down below if you'd like to see me try some different things around here. I'm definitely open to that. Just nothing weird like, sorry, I say weird in the most cautious way, I guess you can say, because I don't want to offend anybody, but I say I'm not trying anything weird because here in Germany, they eat things for breakfast, like raw beef or raw pork or one or the other with like onions on it on a piece of bread. And I'm just, I'm not here for it. I'm not down for that. It's not happening. So drinks though, I'm pretty sure like I can fathom any drink that you guys want me to try here in Germany. I know like a big thing about Germany is the beer. I mean, who can complain about that, right? But as always, you guys, I love you guys so, 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 so much. Thank you so much for spending some time with your girl. Also, again and again and again, check that description box for both of my giveaways. There's still um, a month left on one and about 100 subscribers left till we reach the first, I say it's my first giveaway because it's the first one I mentioned. 
So yeah, you guys, share this video with all your friends. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, join the fam. I'd love to have you. And until next time, bye fam.